Hey guys, it's Kyle. Welcome back to another video. Today is a pretty special video because I spent a lot of time on this video um, gathering evidence and trying to figure out the whole storyline of Piggy, including chapter 12. I also want to give some credit to um, the person who sort of was the main theory in this video and also inspired me to make this video and I'll put an image of one of their comments on the screen after this video. I hope you enjoy and here's the story. Miss P, family member of Mr. P, falls ill. Mr. P goes to Dr. Barry for help and helps him create potions to infect volunteers to find a cure for Miss P. Peppa Pig, Mommy Pig, and Daddy Pig volunteer to be the test subjects. All goes well until they arrive home and Peppa starts to act weird. Mommy Pig tells George Pig to run just in case something bad happens. That's when you come to look for George. Mommy Pig goes to the station to file in a report, but starts to receive side effects. Soon Mommy Pig is infected. Peppa attacks you and you are knocked out and put into the bedroom. You don't turn infected because it doesn't infect humans. It can injure, knock out, or kill you. Daddy Pig goes to the gallery after being infected and meets Mommy Pig and Sheepy. A car with an officer and an and officer doggy arrive. They surround the car. Daddy Pig goes inside the, cal the gallery to stop the officers from escaping. Sheepy and Mommy Pig go separate ways. Daddy Pig fails to infect you and Doggy. When you and Doggy flee to the forest, Doggy realizes the animals surrounding them in the gallery were our friends. You go to sleep, but Doggy stays up late, trying to figure out what happened. TSB takes the remaining of the seven potions that Mr. P and Barry created and forced Doggy to drink one. You wake up due to the clattering of the bottle and realize Doggy is missing. You go look for him and realize he is too infected. While looking for a way out of the forest, you meet Cheap, Sheepy, Peppa's best friend. You call for help but realize she was infected. Now with no help, you run to a school. You hear a walkie-talkie and the speaker introduces himself as Mr. P. He explains that his friend is trapped inside the school. When you get in the school, you realize there is a teacher infected due to the to a, a potion. When you find Mr. P's friend, Bunny, you and Bunny escape through a sewer. You meet Mr. P there, who is glad that Bunny is safe. You start to feel sick and you are rushed to the hospital. You hallucinate Doggy while on a stretcher and soon fall unconscious. When you awake, Bunny is next to your bed and tells you, you that you've been out for hours. You and Bunny go to inform Barry that you are fine but find out he, like many others, is infected. Mr. P warns Miss P and takes her to the rooftop to his helicopter. You and Bunny escape through the roof to meet Mr. P with his helicopter, but soon find out he already left without you. You proceed to go back inside to find another way out, but Bunny sees a note saying, this is for our own good, signed from Mr. P. Bunny catches up. You and Bunny go through the metro, from, but the train stops working. Bunny tells you she needs to rest. You go to find tools to fix the train, but find that there is a zombie pig guarding the train. When the train is fixed, Bunny explains that Mr. P gave her a potion that she drank and didn't know it would turn her into an infected. Bunny stays behind to fight off the other infected as long as she can while you escape through the train. You go to the carnival and search to find Mr. P. You find that there are an infected clown and an infected fox. Foxy was given a potion from TSB and quickly locked in a cage. Foxy writes notes wondering why his friends, TSB, locked him inside there. You escape and meet Pony and Zizzy who wants to take you to a safe place. Foxy finally is able to escape his cage because it was left unlocked since you opened it to grab a key. Foxy finds you, Zizzy, and Pony, and Pony thinks he is a friend. 
When Zizzy tells him he is infected, Pony goes and bonks P Foxy on the head, presumably dead. You and your friends go through the city to get to a safe place. Grandma Pig is infected along with Ellie, one of Peppa's friends. They are the only ones left after the whole city was infected and left to infect other animals in other places. When you escape from the city, you find that someone is watching you. You and Zizzy go follow them after them, while Pony heads to the safe place to watch over the others. The animal watching you runs and hides in the mall. When you escape, you find George Pig hiding behind the counter with a bat. He explains to you that his family was acting weird, so he ran to look for Grandma Pig. Grandma Pig was scary too, so he hid. At the safe place, you meet Pony, who tells you that he tracked down a helicopter signal that probably has Mr. P in it. Zizzy Scissors sisters rush to her, and Zizzy tells them to watch George while they're gone. Zizzy's sisters are upset but agree. You follow the signal, which leads you to an outpost. Many infected soldiers are there protecting the area that Zizzy takes care of while you find a way out. Pony takes care of a torture. When you get the door open, George rushes to you and tells you that he convinced the sisters to play a game of hide and seek. He wants to meet whoever hurt his family. He attracts a crowd of soldiers and Zizzy and Pony stay behind to fight them off while you and George go after Mr. P and find Mr. P a cyborg and is going crazy. He thinks you are just someone you let down in his imagination and runs away. This is where the story gets kind of confusing because it's chapter 12 and I don't know exactly what happens, but this is my theory. You chase after Mr. P into a facility, his home, and lose sight of him. He has many things waiting for you, including a boss to stop you from following him. George helps fight with his bat. You're able to defeat the boss and everything else, and Zizzy and Pony come to join you. You find Mr. P again, crying. He didn't mean for it all to happen like this. He just wanted a cure for Miss P. And a cliffhanger. Hey guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I spent a lot of time on this, writing out the whole story, gathering evidence, and I just want to give a massive sh shout out to the person who sort of gave me the base of the theories. Um, I'll put an image on the screen of one of their comments of one of their theories, and they sort of inspired me to make this video because they had some really great theories, and yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time. Goodbye.